Hello, hello, and welcome back. Welcome back to my garage, you guys. My name is Quad, and yes, we got our interior. Let's get out of here. Oh, gosh, I forgot this did not connect. Uh, but yeah, let's get back. Uh, we're going to have to do some driving today. I'm not sure what's on today's agenda. I have no plan. If you haven't figured it out, I don't script anything, so... Uh, let's go ahead and release that brake. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get back. Um, I think we're going to go back the same way we came. Or should we take the safer route? Easy, easy. Yeah, we're going to get back. Okay, easy, pal. Let's get up here. I want to finish this car. And I want to get started on our next build. Our next build is going to be another personal vehicle. It's not one that we're doing a work on or a job on. It is going to be a personal vehicle and we're going to start working on the Chad. And we're going to give this uh, Chad a Two-Faced slash Harvey Dent type theme. I think it should be fun. Uh, yeah, it should be fun. Uh, I had quite a bit of fun making... Okay, easy. Let's not wreck this thing. Uh, but yeah, I had quite a bit of fun doing this car. So yeah, I'm ready to kind of make some more themed, themed cars. You know what I mean? So I think a uh, Harvey Dent Two-Face one would be pretty fitting. I'm not too sure what color schemes we're going to use yet, but I'm kind of leaning towards some purple, possibly. Um, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. We'll figure it out, though. Uh, of course, that won't come until the end. Okay, yes. okay we don't want to wreck. There we go. And I haven't checked out his channel yet. Uh, but English Gamer UK is also building a Joker themed wolf. So if you are interested in seeing that, go to his channel, check out his page, check out his videos. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have to check it out here sometime soon. I didn't want to really get my uh, ideas warped by his. So I want to finish this completely first before I look at his. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Anyway, anyway, I think it'll be fun. I think it will be fun. Oh, man, I was thinking of, like, an Incredible Hulk build. Uh, I don't know how that would be. Uh, Green Lantern. Nobody likes Green Lantern, but the colors are cool. Uh, Deadpool. Somebody was talking about this, giving him a Deadpool vibe before we put the decals on. A Deadpool car would be cool. Uh, red and black always looks really good, right? slow it down slow it down and then i was thinking uh some other things not so you know we could even do other themes on some cars that's not superhero related oh slow her down slow her down uh so yeah yeah i think it'll be fun i think we have a lot of good content coming up in the several months ahead we got this we got this i'm gonna try to get back without looking I don't know these roads the best, but uh, it shouldn't be too, too hard to figure out. You know what would be a cool item to get installed? You know how we have like the uh, digital dash installed right here? Uh, as if there was a, a compass that you could install. Yeah, a compass. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Okay, here's the little aisle thing. Or not an aisle, but... It's almost a peninsula. Fifth gear. Okay, slow down. Oh, and if, oh Jesus, we almost wrecked there. And if nobody does a penguin theme, we are gonna do a penguin theme, possibly after the uh, Two-Face theme. I think a penguin theme would look really freaking cool. White and black always looks really cool. And the new penguin, was it a movie? Or the show, I, th I don't remember what it is. Um, I forget who the actor is as well, but holy crap, it looks really, really good. Yeah, I can't, God damn it, who does the uh, new penguin? Whoever it is, is it Colin Farrell? Something like that. Uh, it does not even look like him at all. Anyway, I think that'd be a really, really cool one. I don't know what car we would do that on. I don't really have like a that car oh you know we could do a um oh you know what we could do i think i was supposed to make a turn over here hold on let me get turned around here let me see uh we're just gonna look at the map oh no no we need to keep going straight yep yep and then it's gonna be a left up here 
Anyway. I don't know what I was just talking about. Damn it. Uh, what is this building, by the way? Oh, is this anything? No, it doesn't look like it. I don't recall seeing this before. Let's take a look. Is there uh oh, let's just kind of go in here real quick and see if there's anything worthwhile. Oh, we might have some kind of... Okay, there's nothing. There's nothing. I was going to say maybe there's some loot or something in there, but anyway, anyway. Jump out, fool. Jump out. Okay, I think we're stuck. Jump! There we go. Uh, let's get back in. A Riddler. I mean, Riddler was always uh, one of my favorite characters as a child anyway the Jim Carrey one remember him I don't think I put my break on I did put my break on Mr. Freeze no I don't know if I want to do Mr. Freeze uh, anyway anyway doesn't even have to be all DC characters I mean there's so many options out there of different themed vehicles Jack Skellington freaking um that'd be a cool uh thing family guy Rick and Morty those are some of my favorite shows. Okay, is it slower down? Yeah, I think it'll be fun, man. I'm pretty excited uh, for the future of, oh my God, oh God. Okay, that was a really, it's okay, good. We popped the clutch. Are oh, we supposed to go left here? That was a really, really, really close one. Uh, let's just kind of come down through here real quick. Oh, Jesus. This is like some kind of dried up in riverbed. Uh, let's see if we can get up here without destroying the car please thank you there we go okay back on the road i think this is the right way she's a louise oh and i found my new addiction you guys uh contractville contractville i'm going to be putting a lot of that on the channel uh, i'm not going to stop with the daily mike rogers uh, we're going to keep going daily with my garage, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to try to do daily with Contractville. I did a little bit of ranch sim yesterday. Um, it seems like that game still is missing a lot of content. Uh, but obviously, I haven't got that far in it either, but uh, maybe there's other things we need to unlock first. But anyway. Well, here's the bottom of the rally race where we would turn in our trophy. So that's not too bad. I was able to get almost all the way back without looking at my map. I had to, had to look at it once at that one intersection, but. How long we've we been going? Oh God, 10 minutes already? Good Lord. Yeah, it's a little bit of a drive. It is indeed a bit of a drive. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna start on the Chad next. Oops, slow her down. Third gear, please. Uh, yeah, we're going to start on the Chad. Uh, we might do a little bit of Chad and Bart work at the same time. Um, as far as like washing and rusting and bondoing and all that stuff. Since they're kind of oh, right there together. But then again, I'm, I think I want to pull it over to the uh, work area. So yeah, anyway. I'm going to start on the old Chad. I think it'll look really cool. Fast, we're going 170. Okay, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Drop it into third. Drop it into second. I haven't activated my cars yet. Uh, traffic, anyway. Let's see how fast we can get it on this bridge. Oh, I didn't know this bridge. It looks like it's slightly turned a little bit. Anyway, this thing's a freaking beast. 231. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Before we get moving, I think we have... We're going to drop it into fourth here. I don't think I need anything from the store. Uh, we're going to stop. Oh, I should have got that wrench from the store. Um, let's pull in right here real quick. I need to add these other decals. I don't know if I have a wrench sitting over here. I just saw something pop through the world. And there's freaking lame <laughs> Oh, lame just swimming around. Let's go say hi to him. Oh, what time is it, by the way? It's 10, uh, 47. 10 47. <laughs> hey, Lamo, how are you? You know, your tank is over here. Um, oh, you have your friend over there as well. Yeah, you know, I think I'm going to build him. A, I'm going to build him a tank. I'm going to get him a fish tank. Anyway, let's get the lights turned on in this. Be, uh, 
it's a little bit dark um and yeah let me apply a couple of these things real quick like this little smoky background it was supposed to kind of go under the image but i don't know how i like it now i don't know if it looks better maybe if we would maybe try it on this one um let's go ahead and place this and put a sticker over top of it and see how it looks i'm not too sure i think it might look better just as a hard stop uh with the decal but let's go ahead and try it i guess so this is kind of what it would look like with this decal but this one's a little bit big i don't know if that would look good on the roof with that smoke behind it or not Oh, that actually looks really cool with the smoke behind this. Oh, I kind of like this a lot. This might look better on the side. Or at least put the smoke around her. Yeah, yeah. I think this works really good. Uh, it seems to blend together well. Actually, even this would look good with the smoke behind her like that on this one. Okay, so here's this one. I think this will look pretty good. Except for I feel like I need this smoke to be flipped red on the left uh, but maybe not let's just go ahead and put this and then let's see how it looks possibly let's go to this side possibly possibly oh yeah and check it out check it out i have a uh, harley quinn's name which i think will look cool uh where should we put it should we put it on both sides like this I think so we're gonna put one here and then we're gonna put one on this back uh fender i think like right here yeah oh and i did get a broken heart uh to put in with the little diamonds i think it looks a little bit too big though let's go ahead and do the smoke behind her yeah, I think this will look really good. Uh, we might have to replace the diamonds, but we'll see. Um, we're going to try to line this up. I think that looks good. Oh, here's the black heart, by the way. Um, I don't really have enough room. I think I might have to reposition all those. Possibly shrink down the uh, thing a little bit as well. Uh, but I think we'll put... A black card over here. Here's the black Harley Quinn. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing on this side. We have it pretty much centered. Uh, and not quite, but oh, I should have centered it with the diamonds like this, but it's okay. It's going to be down just a little bit like this. There we go. Is it even? No. Of course it's not even. Why? Why wouldn't it be even? Because I don't know how to put decals on that's why we're just going to paint over this real quick just like that and let's paint these uh diamonds out as well and get these replaced okay there we go that looks better let's see if that looks a little bit more even yeah that seems a bit more even and let's put it back here as well. I think it was a little bit centered to the front of the uh, wheel, so. There we go. I think I want to replace this back one. I don't really like this back one here. Uh, so we might change her out with this one. I think this looks a little bit better. Let's come down. Can we cover her completely, I wonder? Her old sticker. Let's see how does that look i think that looks pretty good i was kind of debating actually of putting her on this side or actually this side facing frontward right like this and then putting a flipped version of her on the other side so let's do that let's go ahead and put this one here And then let's flip the image and put it on the other side. And we're going to put something else on the back of here. I really like this Harley Quinn as well. Um, I think she looks really cool. I wonder if this is the one I should put on the front. Maybe have her on the back like this. Hmm. 
I don't know. I think I'm covering her name up a little bit. Maybe. I think she might look better on the front. I mean, I do like that front one. It's real crisp and clear. I think we're going to leave the front the way it is. Okay, here's this one. We're going to put her right like that. And I think that looks a little bit better back here. This one might be a good one for back here as well. Uh, I like this one that's already on there, right? But I don't think that matches the same style of Harley Quinns we already have. Where this one matches a little bit better. Where she has that black mask on, right? Here's the black heart. Yeah, this is way, way too big. Uh, maybe it's because it's skewed. Let me go up here a little bit more. Yeah, I need to make that a little bit smaller. Okay, and I resized the hearts. Uh, so let's go ahead and stick one here. I already did the red side. I think that looks a bit better. Um, I got the red one in here. Let's just go ahead and place this black heart right here. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, I think this is looking pretty bleeding good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... I wonder if we should, oh look, that actually looks kind of cool. A little bit of that red coming through like that. We're going to stick a heart here next to her heart, her name. We're going to stick a heart here on this side next to her name. I'm going to reapply her name since I cut off the N. I got weird of that. I got rid of that, uh, flag that was back here. There's the red diamond. Jesus, I don't think you guys understand how long. Okay, that's a different size now because I resized it. Uh, it's okay. Let's go ahead and place this one here. It'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, I don't think you understand how long it took to get to this damn thing. Okay, okay. I think I'm ready to get out of here. I, I've been spending far far too long on this damn thing i think it looks pretty good i think it looks pretty good i like the front uh i think it looks pretty good with the name signature We're missing some elements over here though um this looks better with the name back here i'm not too sure how i feel about this decal as it doesn't quite match the style but kind of does anyway that's it let's get the hell out of here i'm done freaking done bro let's get back home uh, let's put these panels on and start working on the gosh damn Chad. Uh, there we go. It started. Let's get this thing uh, reversed and get the hell out of here. There we go. And into drive. And we're off. Okay. Easy. There we go. Okay, we got it. Drop it into four. All right, all right. Yeah, check it out, bros. Oh, this thing uh, goes up pretty. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Pretty, pretty good. Yep, there we go. And we're home. Oh, we're freaking home, finally. Oh, that piece of metal still sitting out there in the damn, um... Out there in the damn thing. Anyway, uh, where should we start? I need to find a parking place for our cars. Um, I guess we'll just park it over here where I kind of have the exhaust sitting. Let's get turned around here. Um, oh yeah, I can't wait to replace this seat. I think something like that. Let's get the brake on before we fall off the ledge. There we go. There we go. Finally, good lord, let's go ahead and empty out the car real quick uh, so we can get everything put on. Red seats and all that I like. I get that other seat replaced. Yeah, let's just get all of this out. There's our diff that we bought. Man, is that it, all of it? Nope, there's a big ass panel. Okay, okay, Um, let's sleep real quick till like 11 or something like that so we can get a little bit of better lighting over there 1041 yep that's gonna work perfect oh yeah look at the lighting now okay let's grab a wrench real quick get this thing put together so this car can be finished already uh it looks actually kind of cool 
with the doors open like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, anyway, let's get this stupid racing seat out because I hate it. It's too high. It's too high up. I can't see uh, behind me when I'm reversing. There we go. Yeah, get rid of this stupid thing. Uh, let's just throw it in the hole for now. And let's go ahead and grab, I think a red seat's going to look uh, better inside of here. Uh, black, we just wouldn't really see it. There we go, tight, tight. And this one as well. There we go. And maybe we should just put the black seat on that side. Anyway, uh, what color is that? Red? I don't know if red's going to look better or black. Let's take a look. What are you doing, bro? This ain't even the right side. Let's go ahead and grab the correct side. Uh, front left, please. Thank you. Let's see how this looks. I mean, it's red with red. It kind of all goes together. They're different shades of red. Let's see, just see what a black one looks like. It should be the black one. Let's take a look here. Hmm... Well, let's just tighten it up, get inside and shut the door and we're going to see how it looks while inside. I think it'll look better with the red. Let's just do all red interior. It'll be fine. And then uh, we'll just save this black interior for a future build. Yes, indeed. So here's the front left. Let's go ahead and get that puppy tight. Uh, we're going to put on the front right. Um, I'm not too sure where this goes. Oh, I think we have a black on there. So we'll, we'll, we will indeed replace that. Uh, where the hell did the other red one go? Looks like it's right here. Let's get this in and tightened. There we go. Uh, let's go grab our pry tool. Uh, if we could find it anywhere, it might be in the toolbox still. And of course it's not. I probably have it on the floor right around here somewhere i did not it was inside of the garage yep let's go ahead and pull off these back panel uh, i think it's just this one yeah this is the only black one uh, let's grab the red one and stick it on and there we go the car is done it's done it's done um no we don't need a front seat should i put a front seat in there let's just put the other red front seat in there it's gonna be all right yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's go and put that in there. Tighten it, please. Thank you. And you as well. And uh, you. And one more. One more. There it is. There it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I think it does. Um, like I said, I don't know about the back Harley Quinn. I might replace that one with maybe that other one we used to have. Uh, but I dig it. Let's go ahead and get started on the Chad. Uh, we're going to kind of move all these things to this little side over here. Uh, just for now, we'll get it cleaned up at a different time, but there we go. Let's go ahead and grab some basic tools. Oh, we never put our gear stick in yet. Hold on. Let's go ahead and do these. Uh, I think these are all wrenches, so let's go ahead and pull off. No, it's a screwdriver. This one is a wrench, however. Let's go ahead and swap these out with the good old reds. Yep, right there. Tight. And a tight. Let's go ahead and grab our screw uh, driver if we could find it. I think I saw it in the garage when I was grabbing the uh, pry tool, which I did. There it is. Okay, well, let's go ahead and take off the sh shifter. Yeah, yeah, the shifter. Let's take that thing off. Put on the red one. Look at the stick. Anyway, tighten it. There we go. There we go. The car's done. The car's bleeding done. We could figure out touch-ups later. I think it looks good. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's go ahead and go over to the damn charger. Or uh, the Chad, which I don't know if that's the charger or the Challenger. Let's take a look at them real quick so I can figure it out. That's the old Bart. Uh, this is the Chad. So this is the one we're going to be working on next. Uh, yeah, I don't actually know which one's which. I think this is the Charger. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this truck out of the way, and we're going to go ahead and take that car over to our working area. Yep, just like that. And we need to pull out our workhorse, which is going to be... <laughs> yeah, we need to get some of these rims inside here, by the way. 
Everything's just kind of everywhere. It's a freaking mess. There we go. This tire as well. Uh, that seat can get pulled out of that thing. Okay, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get these moved over. And yeah, I think we're just going to use the Niv. Do I have... Oh yeah, I don't need a hitch. I just need the Niv. Okay, grab this. Let's grab this. And then we need to grab the rope so we can pull the car over there, uh, which is right here. So, excellent. Let's go ahead and get this thing attached to the back of this real quick. Which is right there. And uh, let's take our, our Harley Quinn mobile over. Uh, we should probably get windows real quick. Let's just do the windows. We need them all but the windshield. Okay, we got the... Uh, we have to put the rollers in though, don't we? Yeah, we sure in the hell do. Okay, let's do it. Yep. Rear left, rear right, and then the rear, rear. Uh, let's just go ahead and pocket all this stuff. We're going to go ahead and get it built over there. There we go. There we go. Get these put in. Uh, there's the wrench. Here's all the windows. Let's go ahead and put the windshield on. I meant the rear windshield, by the way. Uh, there's a window. I think these are side windows. Yep. Let's put these on. One more and a boom. And then let's go ahead and put these on. There we go. And let's just grab that wrench, get them tight. And yeah, awesome freaking possum. A one, two, three, and a four. Let's see if we can get these in without taking the door panels off. Uh, we are going to open the door, however. Oh, we can look right here at one. Excellent. And two, let's go ahead and open that one. Do the exact same thing and uh we're done we're done with this car oh wait did i grab the right one? Oh hell no okay i thought i screwed that up there and there beautiful okay now the car's done and now it's done let's take a look at its value by the way and i never put the brake on apparently yeah yeah check it out overall val overall condition is at a four star uh so we're missing some things but not a lot uh, yeah let's put that on so it doesn't roll away and what is this? A door panel. Uh-huh. Okay, let's go ahead and pull that chad over. Uh, we're going to pull it right into here. I think I'm going to extend this part out so when we do pull cars over here, uh, we can actually take the car straight through the thing. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing yanked over. This is uh, my funnest way, funnest way, I think, of moving cars around. Uh, yeah, yeah, it'll be fun. Let's go ahead and get over there. Uh, which means we're going to have to back in uh, because we're not going to be doing a reverse pull. No, 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 no. Oh, what is that? What, what's sticking out of that? It's like drugs over there behind that truck. Anyway, let's go back here. And this should be fun. Yeah, let's see if we break anything. And a stop. Let's go ahead and put that brake on. Just gonna slap it into neutral for now. And let's hook it up. Let's see. Uh, where's the hook? Right there. All right, you guys ready? This is the new uh, Two Face vehicle Harvey Dent mobile. At least it will be. Now right, let's get in. Let's get it yanked over. And let's start working on that thing a little bit. All right, should we do this in first person or let's go ahead and move it out to third person uh, just so we could watch the hilarity. Okay, let's go ahead and easy. Okay, a little bit to the right. Okay, we got it. We got it. Okay, pull it to the right. Yep. A little bit to the left now. Okay, okay. Let's uh, angle our angle. Angle our angle. Go. Okay, we got it. We got it. Come on, baby. Yeah, 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 we got it. Look. A little bit further. Okay, that's all the further we need to be. Okay, awesome. Let's get out. And uh, let's unhook this thing and get it parked. Oh, dang it. Wrong button. Yep, let's unhook it. There we go. Uh, unhook this side as well. There we go. We're just going to set this over here by the truck. And let's just get this out of the way and uh yeah we'll push that other car the chat a little bit closer 
There we go. And let's throw her in reverse and uh, get out of here. Uh, try not to hit that car, of course. There we go. Right up against the side. And then I don't like where that exhaust is anymore. So we're going to go ahead and just drive over it. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. Throw it into neutral. There we go. Okay. Let's get this thing turned down and let's get working. How you guys doing, by the way? How are you guys doing? I haven't asked you that today. Hopefully you're doing fantastic. And uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and put this back over into our exhaust pile over here. We've got a little bit of a mess everywhere. Um, we're going to push P real quick. There we go. Push and P. Uh-huh. Oh, actually, it doesn't even work. Oh, check that out. It's so heavy. Oops. Sorry. Yep, we definitely uh, are jacking up parts. But it doesn't matter because all these parts on here are coming off. I forgot that we're going to do a 100% build because we're going to be making this into a two-face build. So that means we need good panels. Otherwise, the decals... Uh, just will not look good on this car. And I'll show you what I mean, because we got this car as an abandoned uh, vehicle, right? Okay, here's the uh, decal box. So yeah, like if we'd put decals on this, actually it doesn't look the worst. Now this roof doesn't look the best. Um, Yeah, it doesn't look the worst, but it's a little bit blurry. Yeah, see, it's a little blurry. So we want to have a pristine look so we're gonna pull everything off of here and uh, yeah yeah it should be fun so what do we need what do we need let's go ahead and pull the panels off first uh because after that we're gonna have to work on the frame so let's get our cutter out oh you know what we're gonna have to go shopping probably in the next one so we're gonna have to figure out the rear end of that car as well uh not our car i'm talking about our box truck so when we go shopping with steve we can actually uh, load them in. So let's just chop everything off. That'll be the start of it. There we go. And if we're doing a two-face theme, let me know down below what colors you think we should use because it's not really well-defined uh, what's going to be the best colors because he kind of rocks a couple different colors. So where's the hell did I put the cutter? Cutter colors? No, 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 just cutter. There we go. Uh, let's continue chopping the rest of this off. Uh, we're going to grab this fender here. Let's go ahead and get these pieces back here. Looks like there's one inside. Uh, let's grab... There, there there it went. Let's get this little back piece. Uh, yep, these two pieces as well. Uh, of course, we need to reload once again. And there we go. Let's cut off the rear piece as well here. Uh, it looks like it's ready to almost fall off. These two up here for the roof. Uh, yeah, this one, that one. Uh, let's go ahead and grab these other roof panels real quick. Uh, we do need to reload once again, and we're out. We're out. I still haven't built... Oh, let's push P. Uh, I still have not built a trash can yet. We're going to have to get that done at some point. Um... Ooh, we're getting low on discs. Let's go ahead and put that there. We're going to shut this as well. Those things can cause a little bit of problems sometimes when they're just wide open like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab this valance, I believe it's called. And then we need to pull off the old rocker doodle here. Yeah, yeah, rockers. Rocking my baby on the treetop when the wind blows. Okay, there's a bunch actually behind this thing. And there we go. Another reload. Okay, easy pal. We're going to have to start getting all those moved. Uh, we should have a whole bunch of NIV parts laying somewhere. I don't know where I set those things, but uh, how's this thing doing? It's looking quite beautiful. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just see what's on and what's off. Okay, so here's the roof. Here's whatever that thing's called. Uh-huh. Here's the other whatever that thing's called, right? This is the valance. Yep, 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 yep. The other whatever piece. Oh, no, this is a valance. This goes on the bottom. This is a middle panel lip. It's just a lip. I always call that a valance, but it's not. All right, where's our cutter? We need to finish the rockers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Which it looks like that's probably not one, or it might be. I don't know. Let's grab these two, this one, 
don't know if that's one, so we're going to cut it anyway. Let's come around here. And... Uh, it looks like there's some underneath. Let's see if that was enough for that one. It was excellent. Let's come around here. And it's probably another underneath one, which is right there. There we go. Pull it off. Okay, there we go. There we go. Uh, that should be all of the body panels. Now, somebody did ask me about the uh, Dodge the Cornet mod. I don't know which car that goes for. Uh, if it's for this or for the Bart or for both, uh, I have not installed it yet, but we're definitely going to get that installed. And let's grab this last lip or whatever it is. Yeah, I think it's a lip. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to probably, well, I'm not probably, I am going to install that mod and we're going to see how it is. Um, what's holding this stupid? Oh, that's just part of the firewall, I think. I don't think this is its own thing. I think it's part of the firewall. Okay. Well, this thing's all taken apart. We basically need to replace every single piece of frame. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Not in this one. So I have no idea how long we've been going for, guys. I've been recording, and geez louise. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab our marker real quick. We need to write on these panels that they're chads. So we're just going to buy a white pen. Our, trick, our signature triple double D paint. Uh, and then we're going to just write on all of these. We can't write through rust, so we have to skip that, skip that space. Anyway, let me finish all of these up real quick. Okay, I think I got them all. I got the rockers, the fenders, all of the things, everything. It does say Chad. Um, this is actually a bad firewall. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this little painted piece is part of the firewall. Um, we'll figure it out once we take it apart. Uh, but let's go ahead and take these parts over there. Um, yeah, you know what? We can bag them now. I forgot that I have the make bags better again mod. So we're going to go ahead and bag all this and then take it over to the designated area, which I don't even know where that is. Is it over here? Where did we put all of our NIV parts, bro? Oh, they're all just right here. I didn't write on those yet either. Right, let's just put them where the car used to be which is right there. Excellent. And we need to go ahead and get the, uh, we need to take this over here to the lift. So we need to push this damn thing out of the way. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Our marker? Yeah. Let's just put this on the table. Uh, we got this stupid freaking huge bumper. We're going to put this over here in that pile. It's beautiful. Anyway, let's get this pushed out of the way and then we are going to bring in the box truck and we're going to get that thing lowered. Yeah, we're going to lower the uh, box truck a bit. Let's go and turn on the push mod. There we go. That works a little bit better. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There's nothing to worry about uh, bending because we're replacing the whole damn thing. Anyway, let's get the box truck over here. We're going to have to back it in, of course. And oh my God, it looks like we were smuggling. Uh, goods across the border. Um, let me go ahead and unload this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to unload all the sand. We're going to bring it into the garage. I think for now, we're just going to put it all in this corner. There we go. Let's grab the rest of it. Get it moved over there. Yeah. Okay. And that's the last. Oh, yeah. Our speaker system. Luckily, nobody came and stole that stuff. We're going to have to get that set up in the old house. Oops, we still have two bags with us. There we go. Yeah, let's grab all the speakers and stuff right here. Uh, one, two, and three speakers. Uh, we're going to grab these as well and put them into the garage. Here's the sand blaster. Here's the air pump. And then we're going to put these. Oh, what happened to our TV, bro? Why is it all freaking sideways? Oh God, I didn't realize I could pick this up, by the way. I thought it was going to be locked to the floor. Anyway, get out of here. Uh, let's get this set up real quick here. 
Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Need one right here. We need one right there. And then we need to rearrange this living room at some point. Uh, but at least we got a small sound system. <laughs> anyway, let's get in the stupid truck. Let's get this thing replaced. We're going to put low pros on the back since we have a crap load of them now. And we're going to see if this is enough uh, to get this thing lowered. If not, we might just remove our leaf springs when we're shopping with old escape a goat. Anyway, let's get it started. Throw it into reverse. Um, we can't see, of course. I don't have any mirrors. And uh, mirrors don't work anyway. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get this in reverse. Okay, the brake is still on. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. What are we stuck on? Let's just pull it forward. Oh, bro, what is this? Hold on. Let's uh, zoom out real quick. Oh, is it that rim? Oh, it's these rims. Hold on. Uh, let's put it back in part. Let's jump out. Oh, I bet it's these rims. Everything's jacking it up right here. Okay, just throw it inside. And let's throw you inside. And is that everything? Stay in there, bro. Oh, we have a flat tires as well. Let's just grab our air pump. Uh, fill that up. I think that's what's really causing our problem. Oh, look, and I missed I missed the line right here on the bricks. Anyway. I don't think... Oh, look, is this glass? Oh, look. Oh, no, I think this is like skid marks. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, let's make sure all these are filled. I don't know. This might have been an empty one. So... We're gonna have to keep on our keep our eye on this. This one's full. This one's definitely empty. So much so I can't even see the damn not uh, the hooker or the hooker the nozzle. It's right here. There it is. Okay, come on, baby. There we go. So we definitely need to replace this tire tire, uh, but we're putting low pros on, so it should be fine. Let's go ahead and just check these real quick. Okay, I think it's starting to roll just fine. Let's go ahead and uh, back her up now and get these wheels replaced. So then the next one, we are ready to go shopping with the good old Steve. Uh, no break, no break. Okay, let's throw it in reverse. Actually, let's throw it in drive. There we go. And now, now let's throw her in reverse and get her backed up. I think we're going to put low pros on the front and back. Okay, that's not good. Uh, can we get over that? Okay, let's go forward. Hold on, hold on. Oh, bloody hell. Of course I get us stuck. Of course I get us stuck. Uh, let's push this thing forward. Okay, okay, I got her up on the thing. Bad driving, bad, bad driving. Uh, okay, let's get in here. And let's get this puppy freaking into the, uh, what you think call over there? What is that called? The lift, yeah. Cut her tight. Let's try not to hit her junk. Let's go ahead and get her straightened back in now. We're a little bit off. That's what's nice about those uh, lines that I have. You can kind of see a little bit better. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit and come back. There we go. And we're just going to lift up the rear end right now. So that should be good. Let's go ahead and apply that brake. Not that it's going to matter, but we do want to put this in park uh, in hopes that the front drive system will keep it locked in place. Uh, but we should be able to just completely lift this rear end by itself. Uh, so that's what we're going to do here. Just like that, I think, anyway. Let's go ahead and get it lifted. Oh, yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's grab our wrench. Uh, there we go. Let's drop that as well. Grab the wrench. Let's replace these rears in which we should have... I don't think these are the low pros. 
I don't think they are. We're going to have to swap them out, I think. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, we'll just keep the rims that we originally have right here. Let's get it loose, though. Oops, I loosened something I didn't want to loosen. There we go. Okay, is that it? Pop off, please. Thank you. You just pick up. Okay, thank you. Uh, Yeah, yeah, let's just take this in. Get it replaced with a low profile. We're just going to go ahead and pop it off. Yep, there we go. That was a high wall. Uh, this is a low pro. And get it tight. Okay. There we go. So that was a high wall. So this should make a significant difference. Uh, and then it's going to look really dumb, but we're not going for a pageant contest here. We're going for functionality. So let's pull this side off now. And then we're going to still do the fronts because the front is pretty high up in the air still, uh, which means we're going to have to replace the uh, springs as well. Let's go and put this one over here. Yeah, that was a high wall. Here's another low profile. There we go. Get it on. And then we're going to do the front tires as well. Uh, so we're going to have to get turned around, of course. It looks really dumb, but... I think it's going to be okay. I think it's going to be just fine. Yeah, these are the low springs, so we can't get any lower. Um, let me pump these up real quick, and then we're going to drop it. Okay, let's just drop it and see if that's enough air. I think it should be. And yeah, look how silly that looks. It looks ridiculously dumb. <laughs> Oh my god, anyway, let's get it turned around. Let's do the same thing with the front. And uh yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be okay. We got too much junk everywhere. Alright, let's get it started, get it flipped. Now we're just going to drive around the corner or around the horn here. Try not to run over that rim. Keep on going. Yep, a little bit further. I think we're gonna have to punch it into reverse. And hit our house back there. And let's go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's get the front pulled in. Just a little bit. We don't need to put the whole thing in there. Hopefully that's good. Uh, let's just go find out. I think it's definitely crooked, but. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let's put it into park. There we go. And let's swap these puppies out. Uh, yeah, this should be fine. Let's just put this more here. That's fine. This should catch the bumper, though, uh, when we have it extended like this. So that should work. Let's go ahead and try it. I mean, it's not the best, but it'll definitely work. Okay, let's grab our wrench. Let's swap these out with some low profiles. And then in tomorrow's episode, we will see if it is actually functional and we're able to shop uh, with the old Steven, right? Steven, okay, there we go. What is this, by the way? It's a high profile. Oh, wait, hold on. This is a 15. What is this rim? Oh, it's a 16. We need to get 15 inch rims on the front. Oh, did I not buy more of those matching rims? Crap, bro. Okay, okay. Oh, no, I did. Look right here. Oh, these are drag rims, though. Let's see if we have any other 15s. 16, 16. These are 16s. What do we got over here? That is a 16. This is a 15, but it's a wide. We're not trying to do... Okay, 16... Okay, apparently I don't have any 15-inch low profiles except for on our damn Harley Quinn mobile. Great. Okay, I think these are 15s. Oh, yeah, these are 15s. Let's just put these black ones on there. I think it's going to be okay. Let's put these... Oh, we still got to find... Okay, there it is. Wonderful. We have them all. We have them all. Uh, let's take this one off. Grab uh, that. And put this on. Okay, this is going to look really silly and dumb, but uh, hopefully it's functional. 
That's the whole point. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and get that tight. Actually, a low profile springs along with um, those other 16s would have probably been okay with these tires. Uh, but I don't know. All right, let's grab this other super duper black rim. It's really, really dark. Fanta black. So dark you can't even. See. Oh my god, that looks so stupid! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hold on. Let's get this tight. Okay, let me fill these tires up real quick. Okay, that should be enough air. Let's just lower it and see what it looks like. Oh my god, that looks retarded. That looks so dumb. Um, is this still kind of angled up? It kind of is angled up. Let's just go ahead and throw low profiles on it. It's fine. I didn't mean to say low profiles. I mean low uh, springs, front springs, that is. So let's go ahead and buy, uh, buy them real quick. Oh, great. I can't tell the color. Okay, I kind of see the color now. I can't really see the difference in the colors on these uh, front two of these red ones. Yeah, because I think green is high, red is low. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, put these on. Uh, did we hopefully we didn't bring my wrench with me over here and we left it over here oh damn it i did take it with me didn't i how the hell do i even drop it for you, bro it doesn't even make sense is it on the floor oh i didn't take it with me okay never mind who knows where the hell the wrench is it has to be over here though um uh, let's see it's probably over by this other tire yeah yeah let's go ahead and drop this leaf spring in and yank these ones off uh, it's a little bit hard to see on this side because the bolts are backwards on the wrong side. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And yeah, this is the one that you can't really see. There it is. Pull it off. There she blows. And let's put on the lowered one. Tight. Beautiful. Tighten. Mm -hmm. Get the four up here. There we go. There we go. And let's do the same thing on this side. Should be a little bit easier as the bolts are on the proper side, which is on the outside. There we go. There we go. One more. But yeah, if you guys didn't know, not only am I a home mechanic, I am also a home everything else, a uh, jack of all trades kind of guy. Uh, so that contract bill is basically right up my alley as I can do almost all that stuff. I've done like all the painting, drywalling, brown molding, the shit that goes on the bottom, uh, installed floors, installed ceilings, walls, toilets, sinks, all the things. Anyway, look at that. Look at that butte. That is the most hideous looking thing ever. Just kidding. Doesn't look too bad. It's not too, too low. It's low, but it's not too low, right? Let's go ahead and uh, back it up into its parking spot, and let's see how this thing handles. I wonder if I should take it for a little cruise around the block just to see how it handles. Hopefully, it handles just fine. There we go. Release the brake. Let's just throw it into reverse. We can't quite see ourselves, but we know the tree's somewhere back there, so we're just going to try to kick it over to the right like that. Okay, yeah, we could kind of see the pavement there. Beautiful. Throw it into drive and throw it on a hard right here. Got a lot of stuff everywhere. There we go. Okay, we're really close to that now. Uh, let's just zoom out, actually. So we can see what it looks like. Oh my god, look at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I about had a heart attack there. Um, oh my god. This thing looks hilarious. Okay, okay, it's okay. Ouch, ouch. So, I don't know. It might be a better idea just to remove springs. Uh, let's just take it for a small cruise. Oh yeah, it's bottoming out. Okay, okay. Um, let's just go ahead and turn around well we'll see we'll see how it goes with old steve when we go shopping with him if it works 
we might keep it, but I might just put the regular things back on. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, slow it down. Slow it down. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how I feel about it at all. Ouch. Yeah, it's definitely low. It's definitely a low, low girl. Uh, let's turn her down. Turn her off. And hit that brake. And let's get out. Let's see. How's it look? It's a little bit hard to tell. Let's sleep until noon. And then I think we're going to end it. Yeah, 1151. Let's take a look at her. Okay, that looks ridiculous. But we'll see if my we'll see if it works. That's gonna be it for this one though, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And then the next one, we will start getting all the parts for the Chad and start working on that. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Later on, everybody. Later, later on. No. <laughs> Later on, everybody. Later on.